Ken Keating started his broadcasting career in 1962 as sales and sports director of Bighorn Broadcasting, KWYO AM in Sheridan, Wyoming. In 1971, Ken received the Distinguished Service Award by the Sheridan Chamber of Commerce, an award that meant a lot to Ken. After seven years in Sheridan, he made his move to the Gem City, where he served as manager for internal affairs and sports director for Kurt Gowdy Broadcasting at KOWB until 1980. Kurt Gowdy has once said of Ken, you bet I know Ken, he's doing a grand job for me, a great boy. A radio colleague of Ken's at KOWB said that he learned from him the value of preparedness and exactness. He served as general manager of KOJO AM and KIOZ FM, and then general manager for KLDI AM and KRQU FM in Laramie. Then made a move to Bullhead City, Arizona in 1988 as sales and general manager of KFLG AM and FM. Ken's broadcasting career included narrating political announcements for Governor Ed Herschler, director of sports programming for Wyoming for the Intermountain Radio Network, and was a guest instructor at the University of Wyoming Journalism and Telecommunications Department in Techniques and Methods of Broadcasting. He was also a UPI correspondent for nine years and then an AP correspondent for 11 years. Ken also served as director of the Wyoming Association of Broadcasters in the 80s. One of Ken's true loves was play-by-play, -play, including the Shrine Bowl of Wyoming. The snap, it's high. Massey had to climb the ladder to catch it, gets it off, and it goes to Miller, who takes a fair catch at the 27. And Aaron Metcalf almost ran into Tom Massey, but I don't know how he avoided it. Ken broadcast high school games for over 19 years. He indicated on an application form that it was great fun working with young high school athletes. He announced University Wyoming football and basketball games for over 10 years. No athletic team he covered could match Ken's game planning. His depth charts were not only deep with his knowledge of each player and plays, they were colorful works of art. Ken's play-by-play -play and color broadcast were steady in tone, accurate in reporting, and humorous at the right time. More important was the respect he had among his journalistic peers, coaches, athletes, and fan listeners. No one disliked Ken Keating. For his professionalism in the sporting arena, Ken was selected Wyoming Sportscaster of the Year by the National Sportscasters Sports Writers Association in Salisbury, North Carolina, five different times. He was also the Wyoming Association of Broadcasters Sportscaster of the Year in 1977 and earned the Distinguished Service Award by the Wyoming Coaches Association, as well as the Distinguished Service Award Region 7 of the National Federation of High School Athletics. In addition to the many hours Ken logged doing sports and running stations, he was active in the Laramie Rotary International served as Master of Ceremonies for many local events, Director of Publicity for Jubilee Days, Director of the Laramie Quarterback Club, the United Way Fund Drive, and many other service activities. Ken and his wife, Mary Lou, have two children, Lori and her husband, Chris Floyd, and Kathleen Keating and her husband, George Farr. They have two grandsons, Cactus and Coulter, and one great-granddaughter, Caitlin. Ken's family said that he was one of the fortunate ones who had so many people assisting him in excelling at his chosen career. It's obvious how much Ken Keating loved his career in broadcasting. Ken passed away on November 17, 2005 in Bullhead City, Arizona. His friend Phil Risky said the spirit of Ken Keating most assuredly belongs in the Wyoming Association of Broadcasters Hall of Fame. Ladies and gentlemen, it is our pleasure to induct Ken Keating into the WAB Hall of Fame with the class of 2008. Thank you, Ken, for making a difference in Wyoming broadcasting and for setting an example for those that follow in your footsteps.